Welcome to How to Use CSCAT. To begin, drag and drop any symptoms that you've been experiencing in the past 24 hours onto the symptoms stage. For instance, I've been sweating a lot recently, so I'm going to click the button on the right until I find sweating. Then I'll drag and drop it onto the stage where some questions will appear. And I think that my difficulty sleeping has been causing my sweating, and it's been very severe and just been distressing me very much. I'll click Save to save those answers. And because I said difficulty sleeping has been causing my sweating, I'll go back until I find difficulty sleeping, where I'll then drag and drop that onto the stage as well. And I don't know what's been causing my difficulty sleeping, so I'll leave that blank. But it has been moderate, and it has been distressing me a little bit. Now, I've also been experiencing some nausea. And I think that the chemo has been uh, causing that. And it's been very severe. And it's been uh, distressing me quite a bit. And I've also felt that I haven't really looked like myself. So I'll find the symptom don't look like myself. And I don't know what's causing it, though. But it has been moderate. And it has been distressing me somewhat. And then it's also been causing me to worry. So I'll find worrying and then drag that onto the stage as well. And if you notice, I just clicked out of the questions. I can double click a symptom anytime to bring those questions back up. And like before, I don't know what's been causing it, but it has been severe and been distressing me quite a bit. And then I've also been experiencing uh, a lack of appetite that's been very moderate and, as, and some vomiting as well. And I don't know what's been causing the vomiting either, but it's only been slightly severe at least. Once you're finished, you can click continue to move on to the connections page. Here, you can click one symptom and then click another symptom to create a connection between the two to indicate that they are related. And in this case, I said that my difficulty sleeping has been causing my sweating, so I can click that connection to create an arrow that will imply that my difficulty sleeping causes my sweating. I also believe that my not looking like myself and my worrying uh, are related, and they uh, the worrying is also caused by me not looking like myself. So again, I'll create another arrow. My worrying and my nausea are also related, and I think that they cause each other. And I believe my vomiting and my nausea also help cause each other as well. And then my lack of appetite also causes is caused by my nausea, so I'll create another arrow. Once you're finished, click Continue to go on to the Groups section. Here, you can group any to, uh, symptoms together by tracing a line around the symptoms. And you can give a name to that group. So for instance, with this group, I'll give it the name Loss of Sleep because they are related to my sleep. And then I can create another group over here on the right, and I'll call it nausea slash food related, because they are related to food and nausea. And I want to rearrange this group just to make it look a little better, so I'm going to move some of the symptoms and that group around as well. Once you've finished, you can click continue to go on to the priority page. Here, I can identify which symptoms have been a priority for each group. So, for instance, my sweating has been the most important symptom in my loss of sleep group because it's the most severe. And I also think that my nausea is the most important symptom in my food-related group because it causes the other symptoms. Once you've finished, click Continue. If you have more than one group, like I do, you can also say which group is the most important group, and I believe that it is my food-related group. 
Once you've selected that, you can click continue to go to the review page. Here, look over everything to make sure that you have uh, diagrammed your symptoms correctly. If you have, then click yes, indicating that, the, that it is accurate. You are now finished with CSCAT. Thank you.